this is Greg from SharePoint Maven and today I would like to explain to you how to move and copy files in SharePoint. Uh, now for those of you who used older versions of SharePoint, the, what we call the classic SharePoint now, uh, you probably remember that this was quite a pain. Uh, if you wanted to reorganize the files even with the same, within the same library not to mention you know if you wanted to maybe move them to another site or um, you know other libraries on a site uh, it was quite qu quite a pain all right uh, it never really worked well you had to do all these different workarounds open your library in Windows Explorer etc etc and again it was not a very uh, intuitive and uh, easy way um, uh, to do that however with modern SharePoint Microsoft uh, really did did some great improvements uh, in this area and with modern SharePoint with the modern library that we have now uh, it's definitely much much easier to move stuff around so uh, what I would like to show you uh, today is how to move and copy files um, uh, you know within SharePoint we'll start with a simple scenario as you can see here I have a site and a document library called the invoices and I have a few you know files and folders in here and a simple scenario for now is I just want to move the files reorganize the files within my library so I want to uh, move this few files uh, into this folder now sometimes and you know let's give it a try right now sometimes you can literally just drag and drop within the browser uh, sometimes it works sometimes it doesn't uh, let's try it again uh, and hopefully it will work yeah look at this it worked now I can just literally drag and drop files within the browser pretty much works the same way as if you were using Windows Explorer so here we go and look at this it happened so quickly you probably didn't even notice it let me try it again you just highlight the file as, as you can see now it doesn't work again uh, I'm not sure what exactly causes this not to work but it probably is dependent on the, on the browser that you're using etc uh, I happen to be using Google Chrome uh, but um, but yeah I mean if obviously if this works give it a try uh, and um, and uh, this is obviously the easiest technique now if it doesn't work just like in my case it doesn't work right now no worries you just highlight the files and over here on top you have this contextual menu you can move to a copy tool hopefully this is self-explanatory copy just literally you know creates a copy at the you know at the destination and move physically moves the file so in my case I want to move uh, you select move to on the right side we are moving within the same library and as you can see here just like Windows Explorer right this is my folder hierarchy I just tell it where to move here we go and again this files moved pretty quickly now that was an easy scenario right I was just reorganizing stuff um, you know within my library but what if I now have to move my files and folders to another site um, I have this other site over here this happens to be a sales department site so I want to move my files into this library over here so how do I do that well you just highlight the files again or folders whatever you want to move and again choose one of the options above and you probably know you know will notice that here I did it too quickly last time but you know in the you know last time we moved the stuff within the same library but we also have other destinations in here so first of all I can move stuff to my OneDrive and by the way you can move you know stuff between SharePoint and OneDrive and you know and back and forth right the same exact functionality exists in OneDrive so if you have some files in your OneDrive you know using the similar technique you can move them to any SharePoint site uh, but look at this over here I happen to have all this different sites all these different sites uh, that I access and have access to now sometimes you know you try to move the stuff and you know right now my my you know sales site is on the list but sometimes you, you try to move the stuff and you will never see the site on the list uh, you might not see the site on the list how come well very very important in order for the site to appear on this list you need to follow it all right so follow it's like you follow people on Facebook right and people and companies on Facebook you pretty much tell SharePoint that this is your favorite site how do you follow a site in the upper right hand corner of the site just click by default it will probably say not following just do this you know click the star next to it so now I'm following the site I just told SharePoint this is my favorite site this is my bookmark and now when you try to move 
the information, you know, the, the files and folders. Let's wait till it refreshes. I mean, my site was already there, but if I click browse, all right, if I click browse, as you can see, it shows me all the sites I'm following. And uh, over here, I just happen to choose, you know, the, the, the site I just, uh, I just follow. It's right on top, very convenient. And of course I can choose the, um, um, you know, the, the folder, the destination. This is now on the sales site, right? So I'm pretty much, you know, chosen the document libraries and files and folders uh, existing on this site. And I can now just do this. And uh, um, all right. Yeah, what, what it tells me over here is that, um, you know, apparently there's some, there are some metadata properties. Um, it, it's, it's only going to happen if um, there is a disconnect between, uh, in terms of metadata. Uh, between the two libraries. Um, I guess I happen to um, to have some metadata maybe at the destination uh, site. Uh, so, uh, but it just gives me a warning um, that uh, it just gives me a warning that the metadata will be lost, uh, obviously because there is a disconnect. But if you have a, you know, kind of the same libraries, uh, yeah, here's another warning, which is actually a good one, right? I apparently I already have the same file in there. So it's the same behavior uh, that we have in Windows Explorer, where uh, you know if you have the same file, they're just asking you to, uh, you know, if you want to keep it, uh, if you want to replace it, uh, or keep both versions. So in my case, I'll just go ahead and replace it, and now it's going to move it. But yeah, I mean, back to my original point: if you if you have same libraries, um, right? Let's say you have one library without any metadata and a destination library without any metadata, then you are not going to get any error messages uh, that I just got. Um, you only get those error messages if there is a disconnect between the two. Uh, all right. All right. So hopefully, uh, hopefully um, you learned something new in this video. Um, the, the objective of this video was to show you how to move and copy files uh, within SharePoint. And uh, by, as I mentioned a little bit earlier, uh, the same exact you know, features, the same exact menus are uh, available, um, um, available in OneDrive as well. So if you have your files residing in your OneDrive and you are ready to share the files with, uh, with the rest of the organization, you would use the same technique to move the files, um, to move the files to, um, uh, to, to the sites from your OneDrive. All right. Again, thank you very much for your attention. Uh, hopefully you learned something uh, new today and uh, looking forward to seeing you again on my blog, sharepointmaven.com, as well as my YouTube channel. Have a great rest of the day. Goodbye.